What's going on guys, Sahab Man back with another action figure review for the month of Batman. We are taking a look at the DC Comics Multiverse. I guess you can call this Series 2, even though it's based off of the same series or the same, um, what do you call it, Connect and Connect. We're taking a look at Batman Zero Year Batman. So this is from the Multiverse line from the uh, Justice Buster Collect and Connect figure. So last time I reviewed, uh, what do we got? We got the Joker, I reviewed Arrow, and... The Flash. So, I don't have Superman yet. I don't have Reverse Flash yet. Believe it or not, I got this on Amazon for 20 bucks shipped. So, if it's still on there, go to Amazon.com to pick this up. If not, go to BigBadToyStore.com. Click on the link in the description. You can pre-order the entire set. And you don't have to go any toy hunting. You can just make it you know, easier and make, it, make all the figures shipped. Get all the figures shipped to your house. Anyways, you got the packaging right here in the new DC Multiverse box packaging. There's an image of Batman there. Year Zero or Zero Year. Right here on the side, you get a really cool art image of Batman. On the back, again, all the figures that complete this series and the Justice Buster. And that's pretty much it. There's a proof of purchase, MattyCollector.com. Let's go ahead and open this up and take Batman out of the package. Okay, so here's a quick little 360 look at Zero Year Batman. This is a very cool figure. You can see here you go, guys. Just a quick little turnaround on the figure. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at Batman. So he does come with a Collect and Connect piece and he comes with the leg for the Justice Buster. So unfortunately, because we don't have the torso yet, we can't adjust this, we can't connect this to anything. So there's no real purpose for me to connect this to anything until I get the other two figures, which I think is the Flash, um, the reverse Flash that has the lower part of the torso. So here we have Batman. The cool thing about this figure, because he does come with an accessory, he's got a holster right here with the gun. I thought it was going to be glued on there and you can actually remove it so you can remove this gun from the holster. It's not a great looking, you know, weapon, but I think it's a gun or it could be a grapple gun, but there's um, the image right here or a close up of the gun. Not a lot of detail and it is a soft rubber material, but you know, you get that. And of course you get the cool little, it looks, honestly, it looks cooler in the, hol in the holster, to be honest with you, if I can, you know, try to get it in here. So it looks really, you know, looks a lot better like that and he can hold it as well. So if you put this in here, and there he is holding it. Yeah, I guess it looks all right. I'm gonna get some other guns and have him holding some actual real guns, but um, put that away for the review. But you got Batman right here. Kind of looks, you know, it's not a bad looking figure, I guess. Something around, something about the uh, lower jaw, or maybe it's the way his lips are positioned. It kind of looks goofy. But the cowl looks pretty good. Doesn't look too bad. He looks very comic booky. Kind of animated look to him. But I do like the um, the outfit itself. He's got this like texture right here on the shoulder pads. And he's got it kind of going throughout the arm right here. He's got some elbow padding. And some padding more right here texturing on the sides. Right here. You got it right there too. And then you have the bat logo which is actually sculpted. I don't really care for that logo too much. Um, or the emblem. And you have his cape right here. Now I do like the way the cape is sculpted. You can see it's kind of torn in the middle not all the way but the way it's uh, positioned and everything looks really really nice if you lift the cape up right here you can see what he looks like under the cape looks like the belt is all gray and you can see all the little compartments right there for his utility belt and you got a yellow right here yellow little pouches and he does he is sporting the uh, purple gloves this one's just a closed fist and of course this one here is to hold his um, weapon you have the pants right here you have the little holster right there and this also um, uh, has a little you know band right around the leg and you have knee padding right here which is all textured and sculpted and you have the the boots actually look really cool so you can see the little uh, buckles and the shoelaces they look very very nice so I do like the way the um, the boots are sculpted you see that see all the cool little detailing on them it's actually really, really nice. You can see the straps right around here that go all the way around. And you got the bottom right here of the feet and he does have a little bit of detail and he does have peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So it's not a bad looking figure. I know DC Collectibles made a version of this Batman, but I skipped on it because I, don't, I just wasn't really too big of a fan of the um, design. But, you know, I want to build the Justice Buster, and believe it or not, I do pass on some Batman figures. And if it wasn't for the, this piece right here, I wouldn't have picked it up, but, um, I got him. Anyways, uh, as the way of uh, the articulation for this figure, the head can rotate. Doesn't really go up and down, but the arms do go in and out, forward and back. Upper arm rotation, bend at the elbow, 
The wrist can rotate and it goes in and out. Rotation at the waist. He's got an ab crunch, pretty good range of motion for articulation. Legs do go in and out. Forward and back, bend at the knee. Mid leg rotation. The foot can go up and down. So he's got pretty good range of motion. So not a bad articulated figure compared to the other ones from uh, like the Flash and Arrow. Their limit, their articulation wasn't that great. Guys, my quick little review on the Batman Zero Year figure from the DC Multiverse line by Mattel. And this is for the Collect and Connect Justice Buster. It's not a bad looking figure, guys. I don't know if... Um, a lot of you guys are going to be interested in this Batman design, or are you guys just going to be picking it up for the Collect and Connect piece. I think overall it's a cool looking figure. I didn't pick up the DC Collectible one, so if you guys have it, let me know what the differences are. Obviously, DC Collectibles has a lot more detail, but let me know what you guys think about this figure. Are you guys going to pick them up? Are you guys going to pass on it? What do you think about the wave so far? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button, guys, and subscribe. If you guys have not subscribed, stay tuned. There's a lot more surprises on the way. Peace.